Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taste of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben. And today we're having the best whiskies of November 2021. Yes, it has been a little bit of a, uh, yeah, a short month for us. We, we didn't put in the, the very, very best of the year because um, yeah, some of us have been away. I've been on the distillery tour. <laughs> Um, and so, yeah, it's a bit of a, a smaller range with four of them. Yeah, I starting off with the Nika from the barrel and it's uh, a very nice uh, Japanese whiskey. Japanese whiskey in general are pretty good. Oh, let's try it that way. Uh, are generally really good. And this is kind of a, a nice way to enter the Japanese market because it's a well-rounded, as all Japanese whiskies are, and it's also small, it's a half liter bottle, so it's it's not that expensive, because, yes, let's just face the truth, the Japanese whiskies are way, mm. way, way expensive. Yeah. So, nice, balanced, round Japanese Nika from the barrel. Yeah. The next one is a new expression from Highland Park. It's the cast strength. Uh, and this is the number one first release and the second release is out on the market already and the taste is well from release to release slightly different but uh, this is well this tastes as if you have a 12 year old in cast strength in your glass so this is what you expect to have uh, from the 12 year old with a higher ABV and this is what, well, the 12 year old lacks. It's just 40% ABV and this one comes in a higher ABV. And I think the, um, the ABV is 3.3. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> um, a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Um, and they, uh, uh, the ABV changes from batch to batch, of course, otherwise it would have been, wouldn't have been a cast strength. Yeah, this is called ro robust and intense. Oh, you can do cask strength with the same ABV. It's just a matter of uh, work, yeah. Putting <laughs> casks together. <laughs> yeah, mathematics. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the next one is a bit of a strange one because it's an American whiskey, but it's it gets the the award maybe not just for quality because they can probably improve into the future, but it's it's something really really different. It's an American whiskey, fresh American oak casks made with 100% barley from Oregon. And it's, yeah, Portland Distillery with 100% whiskey uh, with barley from Oregon. And it tastes really, really interesting. And it would be interesting to see if they have also in the future uh, a bottling with, um, what do you call it, um, used casks um, and maybe an older age expression. Yeah, that and would be really interesting. This is a uh, hundred proof, fifty percent ABV, and this is a, a whiskey.de exclusive. Mm -hmm. It's cask two hundred and eighty-two. Yeah, last mm -hmm. one. The bottle is gorgeous, wonderful. Change it a lot. Yeah, the the last one is the Weems the Hive. Yeah, I've had a, a bit of a series of Weems here. I think we had the, the Spice King and the Peak Chimney, and this one is the Hive. The Hive is really a very, very nice, sweet, easy drink whiskey. So that's what where, where it gets the award, because this is a, a straight a beginner's whiskey, a, a nice whiskey to enjoy, but you can also um, get into the whiskey. It's, it's not a, a, a very, very deep whiskey, but it has some nuances. It has some, some flavors to it. So it's a, a well-rounded, very fruity, sweet, nice, yeah, blended whiskey. Okay. Well, is, it, wait, is it blended? No. No, it's not a blended. Uh, blended malt Scotch whiskey. Blended yeah, malt, yeah. yeah. That's what I remembered. And it's, it's just a, a very nice blend. Um, Base malt, 62%. Support malt, 8%. Signature malt, 30%. Whatever that means. Mm -hmm. I think they, those are words from the blending industry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so that was it. 
thank you very much for watching. These are the best whiskies of November who got the whiskey.com awards. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Thank you.